Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. In today's video, I'm going to show you the number one thing that you will need to master to be a successful shrimp keeper, and that is biofilm. La -de 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 There's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Let's uh, start to wear our protective clothing in the shrimp room because uh, Lucibella's flea treatment will be happening pretty soon, right? So here's my green overall jacket type thing. And this is just to protect my clothes uh, from any contamination that I might get on my t-shirt is to protect the shrimp basically guys. Over the last three four months I've been feeding my shrimp a slightly different way and um, I've noticed a big difference in my tanks right so I'm going to share with you today what exactly it is I've been doing and why I'm doing it as well because guys if you can get this to happen in your shrimp tanks you'll be able to breed much 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 more shrimp right and the key to this is you guessed it Biofilm, how do you make more biofilm? Uh, the simple way guys is to add more nutrients to the water and some kind of fur or some kind of food source. Great way to do that is with fish flakes. Uh, you simply powder up the fish flakes and you add it to your tank and it makes biofilm in the glass like nothing else I've ever seen before. And why it is now my preferred method over every other biofilm maker that you get is um, it doesn't contain bacteria right so i'm thinking that because it doesn't contain bacteria you're actually able to feed more of it to your tanks uh fish feeding fish flake powder is awesome i'm going to put up lots and lots of footage as we talk about it here as well because guys it really does it makes a massive massive difference i've noticed in my tanks that i really don't get any deaths anymore i have tons of buried shrimp and my shrimp are just so active, I've never really seen them like this before, so if there was one big massive tip I could give for you this year, that would be to start feeding your tanks with powdered fish flakes, right? And let me see, if I got some here? I probably do, let's have a little look. I probably do. This little tub right here contains my only source of <laughs> powdered fish food right now because I'm actually almost out of this stuff. If you buy goldfish fish flakes, it's good enough. I think the goldfish stuff is standardly uh, around about 30% protein. If you buy other stuff like cichlid flakes, uh, some of that can be as high as 50% protein, right? So the more protein you give your shrimp, the more eggs they can produce from the biofilm because it'll be protein rich. There's life, Jim, but not as we know it, not as we know it, life. One of the first places, guys, I noticed the big change in this was in one of my tanks over here, look. And this was a tank where I had biofilm uh, growing on uh, bio rings, cer ceramic bio rings in the corner over here. Um, and it was on the glass at the side specifically to start with. You can probably just see it here, down here, that you get green algae and then you get some like brown algae. And the thing that was amazing to me was the amount of life that is in this tank. All the, I was going to say, uh, microfauna, but I think this would be classed as macrofauna, it is much much smaller, I think microfauna would be the shrimp, macrofauna would be all the little stuff that's on the glass, and I have tried for years to try and get this stuff to grow properly like this in my tanks, right, so it's only been in the last couple of months feeding some powdered food that this has started to grow really really well, and guys the reason I'm suggesting uh, powdered goldfish flakes or Anything that's powdered like that is because it's cheap. Lots and lots of shrimp foods are very, very expensive, uh, but powdered flake food is pretty cheap. Guys, let me give you an example of how I'm feeding as well. Right? So we have our flaked food in here that's been powdered. I actually use a coffee grinder, if that's any help to you. Um, in this tank specifically, I'm having quite the baby boom with my uh, Blue Dreams. This tank got a cull yesterday. Even though I'm quite blind, guys, I still managed to do a cull. And this is the flaked food here. Right, and as you can see, guys, look at the ceramic rings at the back. How brown and green they have become. Look at the glass. Right, and this is covered in millions and millions of little animals zooming all over the place. Right, and I have tons of baby shrimp everywhere. All the females I can see in the tank 
they're all buried as well. And guys, it's not just this tank, it is, it's all of my tanks. The Green Jade tank, for example, you guys will have known how much I've struggled with my Green Jades. It is the same. All the girls in this tank are buried and we have a lot of baby shrimp as well. I've, I've had these shrimp for like two years and I've never really managed to keep them until we started doing this. Right, so you get your shrimp food. Right, and I, for this tank specifically, I take a big pinch. You can see it here, look. Got all that duckweed as well. Big pinch in like this. You see how much has went in? It is actually a lot, guys. A lot, a lot of food. And then it gets dispersed everywhere in the tank. You can just see it here past that glare. And that is why this type of feeding works so well over everything else. Is because you're actually feeding the entire tank and not just the shrimp. See how much food I'm putting in? Right, so I was a little bit hesitant to do this with my bee shrimp tanks because overfeeding can be a problem with bee shrimp. Since I've grown more confident doing it this way with, with uh, neos, I started doing it with the rest of the shrimp tanks and the biofilm growth is just out of this world. Look at all this life on the side here. I know you probably can't see an awful lot with uh, this GoPro, but what we'll do guys, as I said, is I'll add a ton of macro footage to all this as well. Let's get some food into my calcio tank here, more powdered foods, if I can actually grip it. Guys, but before we get really, really into this video, I want to tell you that this feeding method isn't for everyone, right? And that is because um, this feeding method typically will make your tank glass very dirty, right? You're going to get lots and lots of biofilm, you're going to get lots and lots of algae. So if you're an aquascaper and you like a really clean looking tank, this method of feeding isn't for you, right? Because it's going to produce a lot of biofilm. Yeah, so as I said, I was a little bit hesitant to try this method with... Um, all my tanks because bee shrimp can be very pernickety with uh, adding too much, much food to the tank, right? And guys, we'll talk about this in more detail in future videos, uh, why that is with bee shrimp, because that is not the topic of this video today. Uh, but I thought I'd move this uh, shrimp food to this little container here just to make it a little bit easier for me to actually grab the food because it's, uh, you know what I'm like, too old, can't see, bit of a dumbass. Right, so here is our food, I'm going to put it down here. On my little stool. Let's put some in. It looks like too much, doesn't it? I'm going to put just a little bit in here because there's not so many shrimp. These guys had babies yesterday, so I'm looking very forward to seeing the baby shrimps in here. A little bit of food. A little bit of food. And you can see, guys, you actually will go through a lot of this food in powdered form. You can see all the biofilm in the glass at the side here. Look at the amount of biofilm on the glass here. Big healthy pinch of flake, powdered flakes. Um, as I said guys, I use a coffee grinder to powder my stuff. And you want the handheld version. Let me just quickly go over here and see if I can see where my handheld version is. I do. I actually have a couple of them. And the wife, she likes to steal them for her cooking stuff. I always buy more than one because you know what it's like guys you have one of something and it breaks and then you're effed right, so this is my coffee grinder this is the one I use uh, you do get different types the big ones the bigger machines are rubbish for powdering foods so use something like this look you can tell I use this because it's probably still got some food in it a little bit plug it in press the button works like a treat that's what I use that's what I suggest you get as well God, why is there no light over here? Let's get some food into our crystal, fancy crystals, the red ones. These are actually due for a cull. It's bizarre, I've had these for such a long time. And they did really well in the beginning. And then the kind of, uh, the breeding slowed right down to almost nothing. And then the breeding picked up again. And I've given half my colony to my friend Pear. And now they're at that, at that point where they're breeding enough where I should start to cull them or I'm going to get um, ugly shrimp in here, right? So the, that'll be a video that you guys will see in a little while. 
Look at this, you can see what I mean with the amount of powder we're putting in. You see it? Uh, tanks with less shrimp obviously get less food. Tanks with a lot of shrimp, like this tank, they get lots of food. Right, and guys, this is something that you just have to learn as well. You see under there? You can tell if you're feeding enough, guys, when you look at the glass. Right, and I haven't cleaned this glass for maybe a week or two, and I don't see a lot of biofilm on that glass, so that means I'm not feeding that tank enough powdered food. And there you have it, guys. There is the best food in shrimp keeping is simple powdered flakes, powdered goldfish flakes. Very, very cheap, very easy to make. You get bazillions of biofilm, and you'll also get billions of baby shrimp as well. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, then please do subscribe and like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Happy shrimp keeping.